They're on the road coming off a of bye week. What kind of performance does Rocky Long get from his Aztecs? Colorado State won the toss. They defer, so it's San Diego State to start with the football and good field position for the Aztecs with the kick by the freshman Caden Camper sailing out of bounds. Start first and 10 at their own 35-yard line. Play action on first down. Plenty of time for Agnew, who's got a wide open receiver across midfield. It's complete to Kobe Smith and a huge play through the air to start the night for San Diego State. Catches in the game against Utah State. And look, this is a game breaking wide receiver that San Diego State. On second and eight, single coverage and the throw to Smith inside the five yard line. What a start. We're seeing the aerial attack of San Diego State, and I'll say it again, getting one foot down. Gain of 18 off to the right side. Bird is crushed by an onslaught of green and white defender. 103rd in passing yards a game. But putting the ball in the air has gotten them here inside the five and now backed up all the way to the seven-yard line as Mohamed Kamara, the freshman out of Newark, New Jersey, finds himself one of the first on the scene again. Crucial pick six cost them in their last game against Utah State. He's on the move, gets to the five, and then gets cut down at the four-yard line by Jamal Hicks. Try from 22 for the freshman Ariza. Got a tall order to replace John Barron this year, one of the best kickers in school history. He gets them on the board 3-0. The blitz comes, the pass is released, and it's too tall across the middle of the field. Looking for Ty McCullough, the freshman who gets to start today. Dante Wright, but also Ty McCullough. Those are the two guys I think are going to have a big-time production on this offense for Colorado State tonight. Ryan Stonehouse, one of the best punters in college football, with Bird back at the 20. And a fair catch. San Diego State's got the ball and a 3-0 lead here at Fort Collins. Now in back-to-back -back games after they didn't do it for the first three. Agnew wants to throw, and on the slant, he's got the completion to Jesse Matthews, the redshirt freshman. Trying to work with all 11 in unison, and one guy misses the job. That's how the big plays happen. Defenders all over Bird, who makes the catch after coming out of the backfield. The offense not equipped for third and long. Agnew throws, and he's got the first down pass complete at the sticks, finding Smith again. For their first drive, Agnew hit Smith for 42 yards. It was their second longest play of the season. The electric freshman, Dante Wright, from his own 15-yard line. He's got an angle, a couple blockers to aid, and he takes it to the 30. An inefficient first drive for the Rams. And drive number two begins with a handoff to Marcus McElroy as he goes laterally and gets quickly swarmed by the second best rushing defense in America. O'Brien brought the freshman right in motion, throws it his way with one blocker and five tacklers. The Aztecs are winners on that play as well. He's the corner. And look, I talked about the swarm, but it's getting all 11 hats to the football. You got to have an edge set first. The blitz is on. The Aztecs bring six. O'Brien heaves. Single coverage downfield. And it's caught by Dante Wright. He's wrangled out of bounds inside the 20-yard line. Sometimes things can be going wrong for you, but then sometimes things can go right. And I mean, Patrick O'Brien just heaving it up, throwing it to a trusted wide receiver. And this is just a freshman, folks. This isn't a junior. This isn't a senior. Ryan over the middle, and it's incomplete. Going for McCullough, the freshman again. He's targeted him twice, but no catches yet. It's fourth and ten. To the fold against Arkansas in game number three. Went to Pueblo County High School here in Colorado, and his try is good from 36. All over the field, one of the big reasons why Colorado State played so well defensively versus Utah State. It's Braxton Davis on the kickoff for CSU. Jordan Bird. 
returns it, slips through the first wave. He's out across the 30, and finally corralled out across the 35-yard line. So there's number 17 for Colorado State. Multiple touchdowns in a single game. After seven starts a year ago, he's the guy this year, and he's the guy who the defense swarms in on here and brings it down to the 30. Jan Philip Bombeck, the senior defensive end, first there. Agnew steps up under pressure, delivers a dart short of the sticks, caught by Isaiah Richardson, not enough for the first down. They ran for over 3,000 yards. And that play goes nowhere as they get it to Dante Wright. Waiting number four at the bottom of the screen, Nate Craig Myers. I think he's got to be big time productive today. They want to have some success. They bring in Marvin Kinsey, the nation's fourth leading rusher to block. It does no good as O'Brien is swallowed up and taken down inside the five yard line. The corner blitz from Darren Hall. Calling the boundary corner blitz. That's what it is called boundary corner or the cat corner. Darren Hall, the first was a couple weeks ago against Toledo. The last time he'd started was in high school football in California. Stonehouse pinned back deep, and Jordan Bird takes it with great field position upcoming. Kobe Smith in motion on the rollout. It's Washington emerging from the backfield for the first down catch. The Aztecs drive stays alive. Washington off to the left side. He's got space. First down and more. Angled out at the 11-yard line. 14 again on back-to-back -back plays. The last two games, this is what the San Diego State offense has been missing. It's been the explosion with a couple of tight ends, a couple of receivers, and Jasmine behind Agnew in the pistol. He fakes the give, looks left, throws corner. Touchdown, San Diego State. It's Kobe Smith for the score. Just an outstanding route by Smith. It was a post corner. He ran the post and then came out to the corner. And it looks to me that Cousins, Kirk Morrison, Taylor McGregor reporting from the field tonight here at Fort Collins. To start this drive, it's another negative play for Colorado State. To Zeno, the middle linebacker showing blitz. The Aztecs on the way, and they wrap up O'Brien at the shoelaces as he tries to escape. Big pressure from Cameron Thomas, the defensive tackle. Already six tackles for a loss for San Diego State. Stonehouse has been busy with the punt so far. Bird navigates his way to the 37 38 yard line where the Aztecs take over up 10 to 3. This is where Ryan Agnew has to find the right matchup and deliver the football in a tight window. He's 8 for 10 to start. Drops that off for Jordan Bird who goes nowhere as he's quickly taken down from behind. So for as good as this Aztecs defense has been, the offense has not been able to move the chains on third down and long. Dante Wright goes east-west and ends up going backwards as he's brought down for targeting on this play. Keep an eye on number 23 in green for Colorado State coming left to right and the hit with the crown of the helmet. Yeah, anytime you get the hit with the crown of the helmet and especially above or the head or neck area, that's, that's targeting. So... <laughs> I think the officials won't, or the replay official won't have to take long to review this one. And I think he's probably played his last snap in this football game, Mike. We got a blindside block here, so it qualifies as a defenseless player. It's been their own 30 for CSU with only a field goal to show for their work so far. McElroy bounces off one tackle. First down for the Rams for the junior from Denver in the first quarter and a half for the Rams. Looking to end a nine-game losing streak against FBS competition 
with their last win against an FBS team October 13th of last year. Guys gets the ball back not only to his offense, but he's also able to score as well when he gets the ball in his hands. Pressure's off, pass is complete to right. The freshman jukes one tackle, gains midfield, and gets pushed out of bounds. First down, CSU. Seven. Look, Dante Wright, quiet by nature if you ask anyone on this Colorado State team, but his play is loud. It was the phone call that reminded Coach Bobo of a similar one he had with Nick Chubb. He also laughed and said, hey, I guess I should take players I don't usually think I should take. It runs to really keep the defense honest. On the throw, complete to right. He goes headlong to the six-yard line. Yeah, you got to watch, I don't know, his attire on Sunday, see what he's got. Well, CSU has dressed it up in a big-time package here on third and goal, and it looks like they are short again, trying to get the equalizing score. 17th play of more than a seven-minute drive. And this handoff is stopped short again. Kiava Tazino, the key player in the middle of it all, a turnover on downs as the Aztecs stopped the Rams. He scored in the first quarter and didn't score again. Jasmine breaking away from the pack and he gets taken down by Jamal Hicks, the senior from Gardena, California. Ball is loose on first down and the Aztecs recover. First down for San Diego State. It's picked up by Dwayne Johnson Jr. He's my impact player and I just said watch 44. And if there's somebody you need to block on San Diego State's defense, it has to be Kiava Tizino, number 44. You don't allow, you don't block him, and that's an easy shot. No safety help back there, so it's a one-on-one -on -one throw, and he hits him in the end zone for the San Diego State touchdown. It's almost too easy. You kind of have a go-to guy, and that go-to guy today for... Ryan Agnew has been Kobe Smith holding on, keeping that football. O'Brien passing third and short, incomplete. Great defense from Tariq Thompson. San Diego State's defense continues to impress. Three road games this year. And they've allowed a total of 10 points. Flag is down on the return by Jordan Bird. He's out to about the 45-yard line. The give is to Kinsey. And he is short of the first down marker. So fourth down, the blitz is up the middle. It's picked up. The throw is incomplete. And no flags in the vicinity as well. Second and nine, Agnew, another completion. And it's right to the sticks for Jesse Matthews. Defense that you have, you can kind of put this game away in the third quarter. With a bounce to the outside, it's a first down. And a gain to midfield for Chance Bell. You see these players for San Diego State giving everything on every single carry. Play action and all sorts of time for Agnew. He goes across the field for Bell. Nowhere to go with it. He's back to the 45-yard line of San Diego State. And one tight end and one back, but it's still about winning the football. Agnew over the middle, almost intercepted by Keevan Bailey, who had the second interception of the game last week for Colorado State. Their catch at the 10 for Dante Wright. Rams have it, 5.02 in the third. You gotta figure out who's gonna be the big time playmaker outside of Dante Wright. Fewer options to throw to for a quarterback making just the third start of his career. Christian Hunter, the freshman out of Fontana, California, edged out by Darren Hall. Because right now, you're not gonna execute down the way down the field. They blitz off the side again. O'Brien on the run. And his pass is caught by Nico Hall. We saw that blitz earlier, and it ended up in a sack and tosses downfield first down. I would love to see more plays like this of getting Patrick O'Brien on the move. 
They fake the give to Kinsey. Going deep in single coverage, and the pass is intercepted. They wanted Dante Wright, and it ends up as a turnover. You still like the idea of great job by the cornerback, Luke Barku. But at the same time, the true freshman, Dante Wright, there's two things here, Mike. You got to run the red line. The red line is in the imaginary line out there. Are they for real? I know we'll find out Monday night. Wagner looking for somewhere to go, and that ends up being inside his own five-yard line. Play a couple weeks ago against Utah State. Yeah, there's good Agnew and then there's bad Agnew. That right there, Mike, was bad Agnew because once the pocket breaks down, throw the football away, punt it. It's okay. But then when you start to improvise and make a play, that time Agnew just throw the ball away. He lost 12 yards, so it creates a difficult punting situation and gives the Rams starting field position at midfield. Change of quarterback here for Colorado State. It's Justice McCoy, and his first pass attempt of the day is intercepted. So down by 14, they go to Justice McCoy, the redshirt sophomore, making the first pass attempt of his career, and that's how it ends. <laughs> I'm not so sure my first play coming into the game. Tech defense is very opportunistic, already three turnovers in this game. And now the Aztecs looking to load up and take a shot. Agnew complete to the 21-yard line. Kobe Smith has been his go-to guy today, and they've got a red zone drive going. They want to get back to a Mountain West Conference Championship game, and having a healthy number 29 definitely can help out. Agnew flings it end zone, incomplete. There's a flag thrown. The pass intended for his tight end, Parker Houston, and Jamal Hicks was there. Stayed on his coverage and attacked the hands at the end. Wouldn't have been a pass interference. They load up on the toss for Washington. Corner's not his. Max McDonald runs him down, the Fort Collins native. Throw to the end zone for Washington. He tucks his feet in and scores. Juana Washington makes it 23-3 Aztecs. That's just a difficult play to defend when you got the running back who's sprinting out better than you come on the road to Colorado State and you're forcing a quarterback change. Well, it's set in at least pencil right now. McCoy intercepted on his first throw, and he's intercepted on his second. Are you kidding me? Luke Boku with his third interception of the night. Well, I know hockey season is almost upon us, Mike, but Boku with the hat trick, and that's just easy. The Rams can anticipate run here all they want, but it's a stable of running backs for San Diego State. Just, I guess, big reservations for him at the Downtown Athletic Club. Ten straight games with at least 100 yards on the ground for the running back at Wisconsin. It's third and 22 for San Diego State on a penalty-marred drive. So you know if you watch a, a video on like an animal show on TV, they say no animals were harmed in the making of this video. So, there we go. The Thank original you. KM52. <laughs> the Aztecs send four with O'Brien back in the game. His pass to the running back Kinsey. But just kind of worry about winning your side of the Mountain West. Agnew, 15 for 18. Throwing tonight. Offensive line buys him all sorts of time. He tucks it and tumbles at the 20 time he's been one-on-one -on, -one on the outside Agnew has hit him for a touchdown right gets tripped up 655 to go and the deficit is 21 for Colorado State Douglas Coleman the third of Texas Tech had a pair of interceptions today he's the nation's leader with five O'Brien on the run drops it off Kinsey's got it. He's out to the 46. Having three interceptions in the game, just so difficult to do. He was a guy at the start of his college career. Was at a different level. Nate Craig Myers makes the catch. The Auburn transfer is down inside the 15-yard line. Just his second catch of the night, and a big one, much needed for CSU. The quarterbacks have really kept him in check. No room 
for Nate Craig Myers into that last play. Gain of 41, gets him down to the 13, and they go to the end zone, back to Craig Myers for the touchdown. I almost feel like Craig Myers goes over to Bobo and says, hey, throw me the ball. I don't care, just put it in the vicinity. And that time, Patrick O'Brien, just that's an easy throw. It was a huge moment in anybody's life. Pass over the top, and a jump ball incomplete, looking for Parker Houston. First down for Jawan Washington. Decided to grow out his hair, and he will cut it off at the end of the season and donate it to Locks of Love. That's a significant commitment. It's a lot of time. Washington's to the 20. First down, San Diego State in his return to the field for the first time since week two. And people know a lot of traffic in Los Angeles. He's got the 110 freeway tatted on him. So he said by the time that he's done here, he's got to figure out which of the CSU logos he's going to get tattooed. Been tough sledding for him. Washington reverses field. Agnew steps in front to throw a block on Hicks. A stretch for the goal line. That's a touchdown, San Diego State. He also turns the ball over, gives it back to his offense. It's Washington with the extra push. And he's forced back at the goal line. Rocky Long has been arms crossed for about 15 minutes now, waiting to get his team back to Montezuma Mesa with a win. They came in second in the country, only behind Wisconsin in terms of rushing yards allowed, and the total is 18 tonight. That'll help the average quite a bit. Most amazing stat that's also the most deceiving. San Diego State only had two more yards than Colorado State in this game, but the Aztecs are winners. So on behalf of our entire crew, my partner Kirk Morrison and Taylor McGregor down on the field, I'm Mike Cousins. San Diego State wins 24-10. On we go to college football final.